4 News at 5. It's, it's basically a, a slap in the face. The union for Little Rock School District employees reeling after the state's education commissioner rejected its agreement with the district. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Ashley Ketz. Johnny Key is hoping to make it easier for the district to fire employees for underperforming schools. KRK's Jesse Tenor got a look at what happened today at a press conference with Key. So, Jesse, what initiated this move? Yeah, so Ashley and Bob, there are more than a thousand schools in the state and each receives an A to F letter grade based on standardized test scores, graduation rates, attendance rates, and other factors. Key hopes his decision would change the Little Rock School District's bad grades. This troubles me greatly and I would think that it would trouble the entire community. The state's education commissioner is referring to the recently released 2018 school ratings that show more than half the schools in the Little Rock School District received a D or F grade. The district needs greater flexibility uh, to address staffing changes in the struggling schools. To do that, Johnny Key is seeking a waiver for these schools to make it easier for the district to fire employees, a new option under a 2017 state law. Key says there would be no mid-year staffing changes from principals to teachers. I think it wouldn't be easy used as a chainsaw would be more like a scalpel. Key says it currently takes about two years to follow all the steps to terminate a teacher, a process currently overseen by the district's employees union, the Little Rock Education Association. But it shouldn't just be you can go into a classroom and decide that you want to fire that teacher on the spot that moment. The union's president argues there were six schools in academic distress when the state took over the district in 2015. Now there are 22 with the DNF grade. Half of these schools principals still work there and zero have recommended any teacher termination. To insinuate that that we're the problem, we've been the one constant that that has kept everything running. I think the problem may be ADE. Now, the State Board of Education still has to approve the waiver that Key is requesting. Members meet next month. Two state lawmakers who represent Little Rock were at today's press conference. They questioned the commissioner's motives and said their colleagues in the legislature rushed the passage of that 2017 law. Back to you.